Another day of the Democrats' lawfare on Donald Trump. While Joe Biden gets a head start in the big 2024 rematch, hitting the campaign trail in Michigan, former President Trump was stuck in a Florida courthouse trying to get the classified documents case tossed or delayed. Trump's defense team hammering the point other presidents have skated by after holding on the docks post-White House, just like the elderly man with the poor memory. And while we wait for that to shake out, a judge in Fulton County could rule at any moment on whether to disqualify Fannie over her crazy, stupid love affair with Nathan Wade. He just delivered a massive blow, dismissing three of her counts against Trump in the Georgia election case, which even CNN admits is pretty embarrassing. I don't think this ruling changes the type of evidence that the DA is going to be able to introduce, but it does knock out some of the charges. And look, it, it's embarrassing for prosecutors. It, it's a screw up by prosecutors when you bring a charge and then a judge throws it out before it even goes to trial. And in what could be a huge win for Donald Trump, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg telling a New York court that he's open to delaying the Stormy Daniels hush money trial for 30 days, which was scheduled to begin on March 25th. Citing evidence previously possessed by federal prosecutors, Team Trump now sifting through a whopping 100,000 new documents. Remember, the feds are the ones who looked at the evidence and declined to prosecute Trump over the stormy case. Judge, let's go to you first. What is this new evidence that everybody is being so attentive to now? Well, first of all, uh, remember, we are two weeks away from the start of the Manhattan trial against Donald Trump. Two weeks before the trial, the DA himself, Alvin Bragg, says he wants an adjournment because of discovery. Now, in New York, the discovery laws are very clear. If the defense does not get information, normally within 15 days of arraignment, that case is dismissed, mm -hmm. finished. In this case, there is such a massive discovery violation against former President Trump. This case has to be dismissed. And not only that, Alvin Bragg has dirty hands. You just read it yourself where you said that the feds looked at this case. Everybody knows the feds looked at this case. So as a result of that, we all know that the feds had records. So the feds just this week delivered 31,000 records yesterday, which should have been delivered within 15 days of arraignment. Next week, there's another batch that's going to be delivered. And uh, after that, there's going to be even more. Now, Alvin Bragg, the man who has pushed for discovery to move it quickly to make sure the defendants get what they're entitled to, he subpoenaed records, too. And when he subpoenaed the records, he only got a quote in his own papers, a subset of those records. He knew there were more records. He knew he didn't get everything that he asked for. He knew there was more, and he didn't, didn't, he didn't follow through, and now he wants to blame President Trump. He is totally wrong. In response, the U.S. attorney refused to produce more records, which we disclosed to the defendant. No, you don't disclose it to the defendant. You get those records for the defendant because you are presumed as part of the government to have access to those records as well. And now there, he wants to say that the U.S. attorney's production is a result of the defendant's delay? No, it's a result of your delay, Alvin Bragg. The fact that you have no case, you took a misdemeanor that's already precluded by the statute of limitations, you bootstrapped a federal crime to it as though you're a federal prosecutor, and now you don't know the fundamentals of New York discovery. That should be dismissed immediately. I want to say one more thing. This is the same thing that's going on in Florida. You've got Jack Smith who wants to charge Donald Trump with obstruction. You can only be charged with obstruction if there is an underlying crime. Possession of a presidential record is not a crime. It belongs to the president. The president at any time can access those records. So obstruction only applies if there's a crime. There is no crime. This is all lawfare. Fannie Willis is a half-wit along with her boyfriend. They don't know how to, how to prepare a bill of particulars. I mean, this is ridiculous. Let's get your reaction to this late-breaking Alvin Bragg hiccup, which seems to be quite a significant hiccup, and then also what you think is going to happen with Fanny. Good to be back with you. The judge has a strong opinion on this. I've not read... Here. Uh, I've not read... I don't think I can read it and try to respond at the same time, but what... If based on what you just shared, Judge, if, if indeed the, the U.S. Attorney's Office hadn't produced documents, I don't know what the rules are in terms of how can you go forward uh, in, another, in another jurisdiction 
uh, unless you fully disclose to everybody, including the defendant and, and the court. I don't know. I don't know those facts. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I think President Trump is also down in court today. I think down in Florida before Judge Cannon's court. Uh, his team is urging uh, that the case be dismissed there. Uh, I read some of that. I, I read some of their arguments, that, uh, Mr. Trump's arguments there. Uh, I wasn't persuaded by his arguments uh, in, in this instance. I, I was I'm more persuaded by what the judges said. If what, I don't have any reason to believe the judge is, is mischaracterizing this. Uh, judge Cannon, I think, will tread very carefully down in Florida because the 11th Circuit has already overturned two of her rulings uh, in this matter. And I think she should, uh, uh, and based on what little I saw from some of our some, uh, Fox News earlier, uh, she had some very, some very tough questions for uh, Mr. Trump's lawyers. Uh, I've said from the outset, uh, President Trump is presumed innocent. Uh, it is on the government uh, to find and show that he uh, uh, committed some crime. Uh, and he's afforded, he should be afforded, as he is, every due process, right, that the Constitution allows, which is his lawyers are certainly uh, making their case there in Florida. But if what the judge has characterized, uh, if what, how she's characterized what's happened here in, Man in the Manhattan DA's office, and in this case, this certainly uh, is, is something that, that will be uh, explored and studied here over the next several hours and days. Quite the legal roller coaster, Greg Gutfeld. Yes, well, I'm afraid the judge and Harold have taken all my points. <laughs> <laughs> So instead, can we pull up the uh, sketch again of, uh, I, you know, this is another amazing sketch of Donald Trump. He reminds me of Ron Eli when he played Doc Savage, just very masculine. I want someone to look at me the way the sketch artist looks at Donald Trump everywhere I go. But this brings up an interesting point. You know how presidents supposedly age faster when they're president? Yeah. With Trump, it's his critics. Mm. <laughs> look at Robert De Niro, right? And then look at Bragg. He's now like five Braggs. Oh. It's like one Bragg ate another Bragg. He's just bigger and bigger, like one of those uh, Russian nesting dolls. I think the court cases are having the opposite effect on Trump. They hoped it would handicap him. And to some extent, it did by narrowing, as I've said before, the amount of time spent on doing other things. It turns out that Trump, with less time on his hands, is a better Trump in general. And it's ju not just him. I think that these cases have also deepened and galvanized support. People see how the Democrats have galvanized lawfare to subvert an election by destroying the candidate. So it's creating a new persona for Trump, the defiant victim, uh, who through his persecution represents everyone else who isn't a member of the approved elites and their pet causes. So you look at what's being done to Trump and you wonder to yourself, hmm, could they do that to me? You know. You're right. It is happening. They'll do it to you. They look what they did to a lot of the Jan Sixers, and they suppressed evidence while they were putting them on a public trial. So, yeah, it can happen to you, Jesse. Is there anything that you'd like to say about the sketch artist? Um, yeah, I would definitely, please, <laughs> I'll take the sketch artist as well. That would be great. I, um, <clears throat> I'm not a lawyer, so everybody knows that. There, what the Biden campaign wants, or the Democrats want, and what Bragg wants, and all these prosecutors want is for President Trump, one, they want a conviction, okay, but as the judge pointed out, that's unlikely to happen. But what it has done for the Democratic campaign people is they have put 20-pound weights on Donald Trump's ankles and said, go run the New York City Marathon mm -hmm. and see how you do. And so he's today in court in Florida while Biden yeah. and Harris are out in the swing states giving away federal taxpayer money as campaign favors. And still, Trump is in the lead. And why is that? Because Biden's policies are his biggest vulnerabilities. Where they are in the swing states, the economy is doing worse there than other places. Inflation today didn't go down. So President Trump has to take his opportunities to campaign on the weekends. And he's doing those because he has the stamina, energy, power, passion, desire to win. Then while Biden will be, I, I haven't seen the week ahead schedule, but as we've seen over the past few years, he goes to the beach for the weekend. And I'm not against that. But um, if I was president, I wouldn't be doing that. Okay. And they're just telling me that Judge Cannon down in Florida has just denied the Trump motion to toss the case because of the vagueness of the statute. But she does not, uh, she's not um, granting the motion on under the Presidential Records Act. That still is now. That's still open? Open. Mm. Mm. Do you know what you just said, Jesse? I, I forgot. I, what? <laughs> so he, 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 
I, I know what you said. You want me to say it for you? You can say it. You can try. Try it, Harold. Give they, it a they, shot. The, they challenged it and said he should not be charged on this because of the ambiguity of the law. That's and what I, I guess said. What, That's I guess what, what you said. What, <laughs> and I guess what she said is that the law is not ambiguous, and I'm not going to toss it. That's so. what she said. And That's she what said, she said. But, I'm holding, <laughs> but she said, no, I'm, I'm holding on the presidential records aspect that I just talked about, and I'll give you my decision later. Mm. Thank you for that, Judge. Not Harold. <laughs> Up next, the violent gangs wreaking havoc in Haiti <laughs> could be coming to America, and Joe Biden isn't stopping them. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.